Wait, how has home buying and selling changed in the past 20 years? Since you've been doing this for 20 years, how has home buying and selling changed? So I flipped homes exclusively for two to three years. I was an agent for two years and a broker for 18. So what's the math on that? 22-ish years? It's changed. I, I literally would say almost completely. Like there's almost nothing that should be done the same. Now, in reality, some of the contracts are the same. I mean, they've evolved and they've grown, but like the basics are similar. The strategy, the approach, the mental, emotional, strategic approach should be, people are stuck. People are stuck doing this the way they were doing it. Last time they bought or sold, which for a lot of people was 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 15 years ago. So in the United States, real estate, the economy changed dramatically like 08, 9, 10, right? The Great Recession, the economic bust, the mortgage crisis, whatever you want to call it. Since then, we have basically had the same real estate market. It started to change lately. It was starting to change in 2019. Then COVID just shot it up on a rocket ship and it went back to an extreme seller's market. Um, we are now seeing around the country some stabilization. We're seeing some areas slip a little bit into a true buyer's market. Most areas are stable or a slight seller's market, and there are still some extreme seller's market. What the heck does that mean? It means this is the first time in a long time that the market is different, and you should have a different approach, and you should have a different attitude, and you should have a different strategy. But people are still acting the way they were acting in 2005. The only real difference was in that 9, 10, 11 area, we had a significant buyer's market in some areas a slight buyer's market in a lot of areas and a flat market in some of the best areas. Other than that window, there is a generation or more of home buyers that are uh, not trusting real estate agents enough, that are trusting videos and images and technology way too much. Um, they are not seeing homes enough. They're not evaluating homes enough doesn't mean they're not seeing enough houses because you don't need to see a thousand houses if you view enough of them on the internet. Um, but the one that you want to buy, the one you want to make an offer on, people need to be way more thorough in their evaluation. Um, people are being unbelievably excessively dependent on interest rates, whether low or high. People are way overspending because rates are low and unbelievably immobile and inactive because rates are high in their opinion. Things, these things should not be that rate dependent. Um, and then there's a bunch of other things. But if I was to dig into those things and talk about why they're harmful in, in, in the right now market, in the market that we many, many, many of us believe is coming soon, uh, it, would, it would be the following. For example, People do not trust real estate agents enough because real estate agents have not earned their trust. Well, that sounds a little crazy, but the reality here is you need to find the rare real estate agent in your area. And there are great agents out there. They are probably less than 1% of all total real estate agents. We're talking full-time, dedicated, committed, educated, constantly improving, growing and learning and adjusting with the growing and learning and adjusting market as rates go up and populations change and jobs, job creators change and industries and areas and school districts and all those things are always changing. Part-time is not going to cut it. You need a full-time committed person that's growing and learning and committed to being dynamic and impactful and valuable for you. They are out there. They're rare. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, let's talk. But you need that and you need to be able to not only be like, hey, they'll do a good job, but to truthfully trust them. Like you would say, that's my attorney. I don't have a law degree. I trust him or her. You need to be able to do that with your real estate agent. I'm not watching real estate television and then asking you to do stuff for me. I'm asking you to lead and guide me. So you need to find someone like that that you can truly trust. This isn't about who gets the commission, which one of your realtor friends do you use? This is about... Who can you find that you can say, guide me and lead me? I will follow your expertise. And because of that, I expect and, and believe in a greater outcome and experience. So you got to find someone you can truly trust. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we can help you customize a strategy to the actual market so that you can have actual wins. We'd love to do that. Our information's below. Any place else in the country, we can connect you to an agent that can do that for you there. Remember, 
The great ones are less than 1% of the whole industry. I'll see you on the next one.